everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Rodriguez and I'm an incoming first year medical student. In today's video, I'm showing you guys every single class that I took as a pre-med student and I'm gonna show you every semester breakdown. Also, I'm gonna tell you guys the classes that I took in high school to help me out with the prerequisites and for you guys to just have a guide on how to organize your classes, if you, especially if you're coming from high school, to just have an idea on how to get through those prereqs in a timely manner so if you are interested and will find this helpful give me a like and keep watching share that I did have the privilege of you know the financial support of my parents so I wasn't I wasn't working most of the semesters and I know that many pre-meds have families and are working so they may have a different uh, schedule and every pre-med student is different so this is just a guide for you guys to see and I know that I was able to just focus on school full-time and on my extracurriculars so that might have been a privilege in this path but you guys can just take this as a suggestion from me i also took a semester off to take the mcat so you will see a gap in the 2019 school year because i took a semester off well i'm gonna start showing you guys i'm gonna do a screen recording and put the what i'm going through in my ipad in the side of the video so you guys can see um so basically all this per first page is high, sc high school courses that I took. So like I mentioned in other videos, I did took some AP courses and dual enrollment courses that helped me, you know, get a head start in college and finish in four years. And I also skipped the semester. So you will see here um, kind of like the breakdown that I did. And first I'm gonna tell you the list of, of courses that I took in high school. It says fall 2016, but it was actually um, in high school. So I took some biology courses, I took intro to geography, intro to psychology, discover for humanities. For humanities um, uh, requirement in college. And then uh, I took Spanish, Spanish 2, reading Spanish and advanced reading Spanish. And all of these cover for my language requirement so that I don't have to do a language in, in college. Then I had founda foundation of fitness. I took a fitness class that was uh, dual enrollment. So anything that you see dual enrollment, that also counts as, um, as college credits, but this one, the grades do count as well. So if you're taking dual enrollment courses, it's different as AP. AP courses, the grades doesn't count for your college GPA, but the dual enrollment courses, they do count and they add up. Um, so you will see what happened to me uh, for the dual enrollment courses. Then all of this is high school. I took beginning ceramics, I took writing and rhetoric. This ENC 1101 and ENC 1102, which I also took in high school, cover for the English requirement. So you don't have to take English in college. And same for college algebra. I also took 3D design and I took, you see, in ENC 1102 and pre-call algebra and trigonometry so now we have finished with all of the courses that i took in high school right so now i'm gonna go through a breakdown of what my college pre-med student uh, semester was like so in the fall 2016 was my first semester in college i took general biology one general biology um, lab one general chemistry one general chemistry lab one calculus i know i know once you go through pre-cal and trigonometry you have to do calculus it was a really hard semester this one was a, a full semester i can say that and you can see that my grades did suffer a little bit just a little bit because it was a really really packed up semester but i was new this was my first semester so i didn't know how hard it was gonna be i just did my best i was full time i wasn't working during this semester but yeah, I took my first year experience seminar and intro to sociology that also covered for my humanities. 
and you see I managed to get the list also um, somehow but yeah then this is the next semester you see it's a little bit less packed up because I learned my lesson <laughs> but yeah it's a general biology 2 general biology 2 lab chemistry 2 and chemistry 2 lab and then calculus 2 and I was done with my math that's like how I did it for the first year and then I was done with my math because I took pre-cal and pre-algebra in high school so this is what I recommend for those high school students that are trying to see what they can do beforehand this is um, a great start then in my summer I took intro to philosophy and intro to ethics this was required also for the humanities part 2 requirement for at least for my school and I wanted to get rid of the philosophy courses and these were hard courses because they were reading intensive and writing intensive courses so you need you, know, you needed to do a lot of essays and things like that but I had really good professors and one of the professors um, was one of my favorite professors the philosophy professor she wrote me a recommendation letter at the end she was really sweet so those were small classes that allowed me to get to know my professors a little bit more and they were like 30 or 40 students and those are the classes that you want to take advantage and try to just connect with you with your professors so that they can uh, write you letters of recommendations when you need them then uh, we're going into the fall 2017 so now i took orgo one <laughs> orgo one with the lab uh, i took ecology i took physics with call because i i already had taken calculus they allowed me to take physics with calculus which didn't really have a lot of calculus but it, it that's what it was called the course and then the physics lab that i needed this is one right this is my second year so this will start my sophomore year of college okay and then in the spring 2018 i took orgo 2 orgo 2 lab genetics genetics lab this was a little bit hectic too physics 2 and physics 2 lab so you can see here how i break down the classes then we're going into the summer so summer of 2018 i just took cell biology and an internship because i was just helping out with some uh, research that they were doing about mosquitoes and it was an internship um so they gave me just a pass grade and then cell biology was one of my favorite classes i can say that it helped me a lot for the mcat and i recommend it a lot and I, it was also my favorite teacher um uh, she was really sweet and taught me a lot and then this will be my um, junior year starting my junior year fall 2018 so here you can see I took general biochemistry because this was right before my MCAT semester so I wanted to take biochemistry I wanted to take anatomy anatomy demonstration is the lab for anatomy and I also was taking chemical education this was um a class that i took in order to be a learning assistant in la and they required it for the program so i had to take it it was a one credit class and then university singers was a choir that i joined and we also had to go to rehearsals and things so that was uh, a university course as well and it was one credit it was really fun no yeah it was one credit and then lastly i took neurobiology so this this semester was a really full one and um, I hit my most overwhelming time this this semester because I was working uh, and then in the neurologist office I was doing research I was finishing my research because I started my research in the summer semester of 2018 and then I finished it um, in December of that year so it was really hard uh, I was also uh, preparing for my presentation that I did so if you have a really really overwhelming semester in college this will be the example for me and you just gotta hang in there try to do your best um, with what you got because you are going to go through uh, hard times in college especially as a pre-med student it's hard so yeah this was my fall semester and then you you don't see the spring 20 uh, 19 right you see a gap here because this is my MCAT semester okay so then the summer 2019 I took evolution I, I was required to take evolution with my major I was just a biological science major and then this is my fall 2019 my senior year
fun year because it was my application year, right? So I'm, I'm applying already. I submitted my application in the summer, but I'm doing classes at the same time, right? But I, by having classes, it was, it was a way for me to be distracted of, of the application year and just focus on getting good grades that semester. So I took Human Physio 1, Human Physio 1 Lab, Developmental Biology, which I loved. It was kind of like embryology, but with lots of lots of more stuff. That it was the same teacher that I had for Cell Biology, so it was great. Um, great, great, great course. I took Intro to Global Diversity, which taught me a lot about privileges and and just uh, the global diversity that there is, some of the some of the inequalities that exist in the United States. So it was a really good uh, reading intensive course as well. It was a global learning course. And then lastly, I took histology. It helped me a little bit just to get familiar with the images that I could potentially see in medical school. And then lastly, my last semester, my, my graduating semester, I took senior seminar because I was woo, graduating and then I took general microbiology, general micro lab, and I, I don't think this was this was like a medical, um, a medical focused course at all. It was just like the microbiology of it, like the gram negative and gram positive and different type, types of microbes. And it was more the biology side, not the medical. We we're gonna have to take micro um, medically focused in medical school, but it did give me an idea of of you know the terms that I'm I'm supposed to know and then human physiology too I didn't take the lab for the semester and animal behavior which was an ecology elective that I had to take because I was a bio um, student and you see this class was really overwhelming for me but I was able to um, just wave that grade because it was um, you know the, the pandemic started but yeah, guys, this is all of the courses that I took as a pre-med student. This is everything. I'm showing you guys <laughs> everything, my grades, my my breakdown of the courses. If you guys enjoy, I'm um, just learning about what my journey was. Just subscribe, leave a comment. Also, like my videos. It really helps me to get uh, to more pre-med and medical students that may find this content helpful. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.